And now, for cutting the heavier steel with the Henrob 2000, we're going to be cutting some half inch steel, just regular hot roll steel there. We use the overcutter. The sheet metal cutter was the, was the undercutter, and that's the one that you pushed. The overcutter, however, you pull. The oxygen tip is now the copper tip. We're using the copper and the number two tip. The copper tip should be between 1 16th and 1 8th of an inch up off of the metal. And guys, I emphasize that because if you try to hold it up a half an inch or a quarter of an inch like you do your regular torch, you're going to get a very nasty looking cut. So again, the key thing is keeping that oxygen tip close to the metal, watching the oxygen tip, not the flame when you're cutting. And now we're going to increase the oxygen pressure to 15 pounds. The acetylene will remain at 4 pounds. I'm going to light the flame. And on the heavier steel, I just want to preheat it just a little. Just kind of knock the chill out of it there, if you will. Just warm it up. And we're going to heat from this side because you want to pull it. You always want to keep that oxygen tip in line with the flame. close to the metal, we turn the flame here down a little, you'll get a nice clean cut. You can see very little slag, any scale will just knock right off of there, the slag will just knock right off. So you can almost leave your grinder in the toolbox while getting an exceptionally clean cut. Now again, a regular torch can give you a nice cut if it's set up right. But let me show you a couple cuts here that a regular torch will just not do. Cutting a little thin piece, very difficult to do that with a regular torch. If you want to do any writing in the steel, cut out a pattern, any kind of bracket, any type of real precision, close together cutting, the regular torch would just melt all that right back together. <clears throat> because of our two tips, you can do a lot of cutting with our torch that you would only be able to do with a plasma cutter. You can see just how clean of a cut that is, just how small of amount of slag that you get on that back side. And again, if you'll keep that tip close to the metal like we tell you, slag is just not a problem. Now I'm gonna make one last cut here. Again, any slag that you get just knock right off. You can see just how clean of a cut that is. Front side, the back, that's the back side of that cut. It is also a very soft cut. You guys doing machine work, it's machinable. It doesn't have that hardened oxide layer like a regular torch does. So that may be an advantage to some of you guys doing machine work. So we're cutting as nice as a plasma cutter. Our, again, our tips last much longer than a plasma cutter. And one thing that I need to mention about the cutting attachment is the wrench serves as a feeler gauge here. You always want to make sure the clearance between those two tips is the same thickness as that wrench. And that goes for the undercutter, for the sheet metal, or the overcutter. Just remember, keep your tips in line with each other and the distance between the tips, the thickness of that wrench. And that is the wrench that comes in the kit.